Hi, welcome to my most recent video. Um, this, this video is meant to replace a video um, of the same name um, that I've taken down. The reason I've taken it down, which I will d uh, go into more detail about in the description, is because the lady that I mentioned in the video, um, we have been in communication with one another and um, she has told me about something that she didn't need to tell me about um, and um, it's, it's helped me a lot and it was very honourable of her to do so. So I decided as a mark of respect to take the video down um, and replace it with this one. And I'm hoping to get this one squeezed a bit less time. Just gonna start straight away, just on the offset. Right, the difference between a pyramid scheme and, a, and a, uh, an MLM scheme and a normal company structure. I'm sure you've seen the memes going round. You're saying I'm in a pyramid scheme. You are working for a massive company and um, you're just in the bottom working so hard, you know, you don't, you're underpaid and it's him at the top or her at the top, the CEO, they get, all the, they get all the benefit of your hard work and you're never gonna make it to CEO, are you? I mean, that's, that's impossible, isn't it? So this is gonna hopefully just bring some clarity. So, once upon a time, standard illegal pyramid schemes were not illegal. Um, and they went something like this. Somebody would say, somebody would say, um, I'm gonna start a pyramid scheme. I, uh, why not, why not start a pyramid scheme? I'm a good salesperson, I've got quite a good life. I could show this life off and you know, people will join. So here's me. And I'm gonna start by recruiting what people and I'm going to tell them you pay in 50 pounds a month and then you recruit people too and they pay in 50 pounds a month eventually that 50 pounds a month little trickles of it will take percentages each and eventually we'll make start making a lot of money because the more people get recruited the more people get recruited the more money the more little trickles until we get to the very bottom and these people are trying like mad to recruit at the bottom but we are doing amazingly well because, you know, so somebody drops out of the scheme. I mean, it's gambler mentality as well. You're putting in so much that you think, well, I've got to stay and I've already put in. God, I've been in this for three months. I'm £150 out. All I need to do is just recruit, we just recruit some people and then they can just recruit people. So they hang in. Some of them will be more disillusioned. They'll say, do you know what? I'm not sticking around with this. And, you know, the person that recruited them might get two more. You could even get somebody high up who... They got, they recruited one person. Their heart's not in it as much, you know, quite high up. Now that one person could be really, really good at sales and they could recruit loads of people and they could technically be earning a lot more than the person that just recruited them as one person. So it, it's not even, it, it doesn't have to be completely even, it doesn't have to be sort of one person exactly that and exactly that. Like I said, one person could have just recruited one, millions more from there. It'll probably never get to millions because millions of people aren't susceptible to this sort of con. The reason it was made illegal is because definitely whether you recruit the entire population of the planet or whether you just exhaust all avenues for people susceptible to this kind of stupidity, um, you're just going to run out of people eventually. You're, you are definitely going to run out of people. Which means that all these people on the bottom, even the people that have recruited, they might not be breaking even on the 50 pounds every month, probably the majority, of, well, definitely the majority of people will lose their money, will lose money they've invested, will, will lose money. And only the people up here, these people who are making a fortune, and they get recruits off the basis of, look at our lifestyles, we did this, you can do it too. And if you've got a pyramid, an illegal, standard illegal pyramid scheme with thousands and thousands of people in it, you're going to get hundreds that are in that 1% or whatever tiny percent it is for the people that earn. So it will look like there's loads of people earning this, but in reality, it's a tiny, tiny amount. And this is a illegal, standard illegal. I'm going to call it illegal. 
but it's a scheme. It's called a, a scheme, a pyramid scheme, because it's pyramids, the pyramids out, and it's based on a scheme is, is a plan. It's a plan of action, a plan with an objective. Um, the, the objective to this scheme is that we recruit people, we get them to put in money, and we get money in the end. That, that is the objective of our plan. This is the objective of, of, of our plan that we've created. Our scheme has this objective. Um, and that's why it's called a scheme, a pyramid scheme, because it pyramids out from one person, and it's a scheme. That's why it's a pyramid scheme. And it's illegal because people lose money. Right then, this is... Because this is illegal, this is where we get the people in the, the MLM or the network marketing pyramid schemes and they say, well, we're not a pyramid scheme because that's a pyramid scheme, right? That's a pyramid scheme. No, that's an illegal pyramid scheme. As I've explained what a scheme is, a scheme is a, is a plan, is, is a, a system by which you recruit people and you will earn money from recruiting people, the main amount of money, you, you can you will earn money from recruiting people, and that's the idea behind it. An MLM pyramid scheme, we'll put it here, MLM, or I know how they've liked to call themselves network marketing now. They've rebranded themselves as network network marketing. Network marketing um, schemes look very much like this. Normally, they don't get started by an individual. An MLM or network marketing scheme is started by a company. The company will have products or services that they want to sell to a consumer. Um, the Anything that they sell, whether that's makeup, health drinks, candles, anything that they sell um, is almost always highly overpriced, much more expensive than anything you buy in the shop. It's not as accessible as anything you can buy in the shop because you can buy every, there's no gap in the market. They, they filled no gap. There was, there, was, there was no gap that they needed to fill. They've, they've filled nothing. They just, they've just brought out another product um, to, in the already saturated market, of vitamins or whatever it is that they brought out that's more expensive than anything you can buy in the shop. Um, so what they do is, because they can't sell to normal consumers in shops like you and I, they recruit people to, to do the selling and the marketing for them. They don't want to waste their money on marketing, do they? People to build a network and market. So the company will recruit its very, very first person. I'll sit up here, right? And um, they'll say to this person, you, you recruit, you recruit people, you, you sell the products, sell the products, you make your commissions off the products, right? And um, when you kind of realise that not a lot of commission can be made from the products, you can build a team of your own and uh, your team will then sell the products and um, you will make commissions off everything that they sell but you need to build a pretty big team you see because a small team you won't the commissions will be too tiny um, and the catch is you have to buy us in order to collect commissions from everyone and then the the, the people that that these people recruit in order to collect those commissions you need to invest in a minimum amount of a minimum amount of stock monthly to remain active you need to sell to your customers or whoever buy it yourself but you need to, to, to buy a minimum value of a product so we'll just say for the sake of arguments that they have to uh, buy a minimum amounts worth 50 pounds worth they have to do that every month and remember these these products are way over the odds I mean Wherever they got, whoever created these products for the MLM company, um, I mean, you're talking, they, they didn't, they, they didn't pay, this MLM company didn't pay more for the, to, to this supplier than say Boots do for their vitamins or Sainsbury's does for their vitamins. Um, they pay about the same amount because it's all got pretty much the same stuff in it. 
Um, but they just they just charge you a hell of a lot more because they're making huge profits. And the reason they need to charge you more is because all the people up the up the MLM pyramid, the network marketing pyramid, they need to take a little bit of each one. So the MLM company needs to have their profit in the end, which will probably be the same amount of profit as Boots and everyone else makes. Um, so yeah, they will. The pennies dropped with all this lot. They've got to find people to join up. Now you can't just find any old people. I mean, there's the massive uh, there's a massive community of anti MLMers. I mean, people know that this is stupid. The majority of people know that this is really, really, really stupid. And pyramid scheme. It's a scheme because, as I said, it's it's a system. It's a system by where. You sell, you buy our products, you sell our products, and you recruit people to do the same thing. It's a system, right? You are considered a distributor, and you are part of this system, this scheme, this scheme, which is a pyramid, right? And it's an MLM pyramid because all the people in the pyramid are marketing the product. So it's a multi-level multi on the pyramid has the multiple levels but it's marketing it's a marketing pyramid and marketing and sales are involved in this pyramid so we're a multi-level marketing pyramid scheme so no you're not a standard pyramid scheme but you are you are a pyramid scheme and that's that, that is fact what you are you're the literally fact what you are is a pyramid scheme so you can't be telling people that this, you're not a pyramid scheme. If you're in an MLM, you are a pyramid scheme. I've just shown you how you're a pyramid scheme. I mean, can you see a great deal of difference in, in, in between these, the illegal one and your one? The only difference is that you have a product that you must sell, which is pretty obsolete because no one buys it. You, you buy these products yourself. You buy this. And it's these people at the bottom that you encourage to buy more. You've got to buy more. You've got to buy more stock. And you can sell it to people. They'll be making the charity sales, but they won't be making much more, but they'll be buying it themselves in the end because the, the product is, is what legitimises the pyramid. It's a legal loophole that was invented by people like this guy here who wanted to make pyramid schemes, but they knew they were illegal. But they know how, how easy it is to con people, how easy it is to con desperate and vulnerable people. You're always going to be able to find desperate and vulnerable people to con into this and make money out of them, make money out of them. Make money off the back of uh, desperate people. Um, so yeah, that is your MLM network marketing team and that is your illegal pyramid scheme. Now, in many ways, you could argue that, that this is worse than this. That this is actually worse than this because at least with this, you don't have the, the pressure of having to... You don't have to... It, so say if they were still legal, you could literally be honest with people. You'd be like, I've joined this pyramid scheme it's a it's a i'm doing this, this pyramid scheme where all you have to do is put in 50 pounds a month you don't have to you could you probably have to pester people to join it but you don't have to embarrass yourself and humiliate yourself um for all of your friends on all of your social networks to see by making videos of yourself getting cream but, but having no makeup on your face um putting creams in your hand and, and pulling your face in all the direction you know have you seen those videos of people doing that it's, it's mortifying um, you don't have to, you don't have to become everybody's daily dose of cringe. Just pay the money in, tell everyone I've been sucked into this thing. You just pay your money in and you, know, you wait, you, you try and recruit them and you wait it out to see if it trickles up. This one requires you to humiliate yourself daily. Humiliate yourself daily and along with alienating all your friends and family. Yeah, you become a laughing stock. Well, you become a laughing stock if you join either of them, really, won't you? But anyway, that's your. So we'll rub the illegal pyramid scheme out now. Rub this illegal pyramid scheme out now. I do want to say, I mean, this is September 2020. I've made, I'm making this video, beginning of September 2020. We are still apparently in a pandemic. All of the MLM schemes recently have seen, a, well, over the, during the lockdown period, down to uh, job losses and desperation and, yeah, 
job losses mainly, um, have seen a, a massive, massive, massive influx of people joining the MLM schemes. They're being sold, you know, they're, they're going to give it a go. The people who are joining the MLM pyramid schemes now um, are not your usual MLM MLMers, uh, your network marketer, your network marketing sort of addicts. Um, these 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 MLM schemes they tick along because they have their kind of they have their consumers. They have the stay at home mums whose husbands work and provide. So this is they just do this as something to do. They have their people that get involved in these schemes that aren't desperate. That, that, that they're the backbone of these schemes. Um, they're the ones that hang on in there. They hang in. Um, and they wait it out, and uh, eventually they'll they'll make their way up. But the people who get in because they need the money, they can't afford to last in there. They 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 are the ones that typically will leave because no matter how much you believe in yourself, if you're losing money, you leave. Eventually they'll find people to replace them, and they tick along, they tick along, gradually getting bigger. What happened during the lockdown is there's been a massive influx. So we could say there's thousands of people in this sort of area during lockdown these people who didn't think that they weren't having much luck recruiting they've managed to start recruiting people now and now there are tens tens of thousands absolutely tens of thousands have joined now the problem is now i'm aiming this video at the people who are in the mlm schemes that did get in before lockdown and have found themselves escalated really far in the pyramid really quickly. And they're telling people, well, I did it so you can. You did it because you managed to get all the desperate people. Um, these aren't your normal MLMers and you've done it, right? These people who have joined out of desperation now during lockdown, these aren't, th these are people who um, that, that think they're going to make money. When their mortgage breaks are over and they and they found that they can't make any money, no amount of you telling them that they've got to believe in themselves and put in and get out what they put in is going to make a scrap of difference because they aren't getting anything out that they're putting in. I mean, I heard somebody say to me, "Oh, you know, you could earn a you could earn a hundred pounds a month if you work. You know, you work at it, and you know, you don't have to put that much time in it. It's a hundred pounds a month's nice, isn't it? Well, yeah, a hundred pounds a month." Um, not if you're working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's not. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Bloody stupid. Um, so, yeah. These people, if you've got cars out in your name recently because you've been escalated up, I am worried about you because I think that these people here will leave as quickly as they join. I think in, in the new year, there will be a mass... This is just my prediction. I don't have any evidence the only evidence i have is what i've read about forever living and to a lesser extent unique they didn't they, they had a load of people join in a, in a short space of time but nothing like some of these um some of these mlms are now i mean you look at forever living who, who joins forever living now in the uk who joins unique it got too big too quickly then they became infamous now nobody joins them because everyone knows about them so this is what's going to happen to a lot of the mlms at the moment that i'm seeing around um so yeah, that's my worry. I'm worried that there's going to be a mass exodus. You guys can't retain your levels and these people are going to leave and you will not be able to make the payments for your cars or any other incentives that your company has irresponsibly allowed you to take on. Um, and that's, that, that is my worry. That's, that is one of my worries about you guys. I don't think any of you guys that have just been escalated up recently should take it on any cars or anything. I think wait till the new year. Wait till the new year, then agree. See if it stabilises. But anyway, moving on. Company structure. Now, a company isn't a, um, a plan. A company is a group of people put together um, to make money, to whatever, to provide services, um, to sell products that they <laughs> buy from a distributor and sell on. Um, they can be a science company and devise back, uh, vaccines. Um, any a, co a company is a, a company employs people, pays people, and makes money. So we'll start with this. We'll look. We'll do the top C E O. Now I keep getting told nobody can be the CEO, but we'll see. CEO. There we go. You'll need in a company, say, IT. You'll need finance, 
you will need your if for example if you're selling if you're if you provide products you need your retail um and your what i say hr there we go um there will be many more i mean and these part of these companies may be third party may not even directly be by this company and these will be the heads these will be the the, the 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 managers of these sorts of departments and out of it you'll have gosh you'll have your service desk you'll have all sorts and you'll need this admin so yeah it, it does start to look a bit like this doesn't it finance they'll have the accountants and they'll be there admin their secretaries um you've got your hr you'll have your lower level you'll have your disputes or else you'll probably have your sort of customer customer services around here somewhere people dealing with the customers um then you'll have your retail and the, the retail part will be the, the the this will be the they will communicate with your for example you will have a buy from a factory or buy from the supplier yeah you may then send it to you your company to get repackaged and you'll get you get some uh, you probably get some middle management and then you'll get some supervisors here and then you'll get all your kind of warehouse type people your distributors people that package and these will be your low levelers right like this there'll be a few of them because they only get paid minimum wage or I mean, some of them will be on more than minimum wage. They might have worked their way up. They might have got qualifications. They might have learned how to operate machinery, forklift trucks, and stuff like that. And there'll be loads of them, and then they will all answer to these people. Customer service will probably have your management, then you'll have your supervisors, and then you'll have your all on the bottom here, all in the way. And these might, be, I mean, this company may, may be a third party, but this may be in India. This may not even be in the UK. This may be just a company in India that is its own company in itself, which will in, in itself have its own CEO, and then they'll have all of these all around. And this will just be the one that does the customer service for your company. Um, so yeah, you'll get your warehouse and what will happen then is somebody will deal with supplier and they will deal with the warehouse, they will deal with the, your supervisors and they will organise when your things get sent to you. So you'll get your vitamins, there may be multiple amount of companies that supply, you might have vitamins, you might have makeup, you might have drinks, you might have, you know, have any, any kind of thing, candles, all that kind of thing and they will send all the products to you and in the factory and warehouse you'll put your own put the own branding on it and um, it will all then depend on where you, you on who's who your customers are so for example if this is a standard company maybe they just provide I don't know they, they may be a company that provides all the own brand stuff to the supermarket, so they'll provide all the vitamins, and they may just be a company that puts the labels on for the different supermarkets. They may just put the labels on and send them off to all the different supermarkets. And some they just have the thing, like they package them all up, and then they these people here are responsible for boxing it all up and sending it off to the big five, to Boots, to Superdrug. Now, if this company is the company that started the MLM, their customers will be all these people. So all these products will all be much smaller packaging and they will all be sent to these people. This will be all the products sent off to these people for, to fulfill their 50 pounds a month buy-in. There might be some, some le probably the lower levelers in the first month particularly when they've started the new business and they've got all the friends and family charity purchases, all the kind of, you know, cheap, cheapest stuff that they do that their friends and family have been sort of um, guilted into buying because to, to support their, their loved one's new business. And that, that these are the customers. So this is a company and this is a business and this is the business of these people, these MLM companies. So we'll just put, we'll just put MLM 
company. And these will be the customers. And these people will have the right to redistribute on these goods. They will have the right to do that. Um, now, the, 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 the main difference is, apart from the fact that all of these people could don't have to have any qualifications, and it will, getting up there will depend on how early you got in and your ability to set for sales and marketing um, and your character in general. I mean, you're not... Even if you're one of the earliest at the door, you're not getting up there if you're the you're sort of dowdy, quiet, head down type of lady who doesn't really chat to anyone, who doesn't really do much to herself. You're not going to get up there. You're not. And I've seen people like that on Facebook, bless them, um, saying that they're looking for five people this month, my whatever body shop at home team, I'm looking for five people to join up and make a fortune. And I look on their profiles and I think, no, no one's going to join your team. Um because it's all about, about your image, about your character, about your personality. The people who do make it up, and you can even start later and make it up there, they are your confident women, your chatty women, your positive women, your beautiful women. The, the women that people want to talk to, the women that people gravitate towards, the, the women that talk to everyone at a party, that's who makes it up there. Um, they're the, you know, you're right, babes. They're, they make it up there. They make it up there. Um, and I said, it, as I said in my other video, if you're making it up there because you're lying to everyone and telling everyone that they can be where you are, you are a bitch. If you're up there, but you're not, you're, you know, you're being completely honest to people and saying, listen, you know, this is a situation you recruit. It's, I've got this many in my downline. I got in early. You know, I, I, I'm not going to call you a bitch. Honest, if you're on, being honest with your new recruits, you're not. If you're lying and you're telling everyone, look at how much I'm earning, you could be earning it too. Then I think that you are, yeah. Um, so yeah, you, you're getting up here. It doesn't matter what your qualifications are. It doesn't matter how long you spent at uni. It doesn't matter how many PhDs you've got. It doesn't matter how much experience you've got in anything. Um, it won't matter. And if you do get up there and this company collapses or this pyramid collapses, you are back to square one. You cannot write on your CV for a new job. Um, I was at the top of a, I was at the top of an M and M pyramid scheme. No one cares. Um, this company, however, this structure, however, you can enter anywhere in this structure, depending on. Depending on, depending on your qualifications, depending on your experience, depending on your education, um, depending on how hard you've worked. That will, it's all based on your merits. Where you can go to in this company is based on your merits. On your merits and experience alone. You can get into, and you don't have to have a university degree. I know people, um, I know accountants without degrees. I know IT experts on Eye-watering amounts of money with, with no degrees. They just worked hard. They did courses. They kept on, they kept up to date. And um, I suspect it's the story for most of us. I think that this idea that you have to have a university degree is, I don't, I don't buy it. I've, I know too many people in too high positions that haven't. Um, university degree might get you into this kind of level more easily, but to get up to here, it is based off hard work, graft, reputation still at the top here. And actually anyone can get there. The sort of people actually with the personality to get to the top of there are probably the sort of ambitious purse people that if they turned their um, sights towards the courses necessary, the training, could get there, actually, could they could. That kind of ambitious, talk to everyone, get out there, people, person, can get up there, you can get up there. If you can get up there, if you've got that ambition, if you all, you, all it takes is hard work, don't even need brains. I know people in very high positions, they're not that, they're not the brain of Britain or anything, just work hard, people, people you know, they're, they, they're good at talking to people. Um, your low levellers will just, they won't have qualifications, some of them will, some of them might be students doing this in their part time, they'll be low levellers, they can offer their labour. Um, now, anyone from here, with enough time, as I said, courses, can, can get up here, you can enter anywhere on that. And if this company folds, if this company goes under, you write on your CV, I was head of IT, I was head of HR at 
this MLM company. No matter if it, it was a, an LM. I was I was head of HR at Arbon for fifteen years. That's impressive. That is an impressive thing to say. You were. No one cares. You can't say I was in the one percent of uh, Arbon. It's distributors. No one cares about that. It's not going to get you a job in future. If this collapses. So yeah, there are the the differences. Last difference that. These people at the top, there will be shareholders above this CEO. There may be a president or shareholders, right? And these people at the top want to make as much money as possible. Um, the, the, the better, a good way to keep their profits high is to keep the amount of people in this structure as small and small as possible. Um, that's the best way for them to keep profits high. Um, obviously with increased sales, but they need keeping keeping the amount of sales because everybody in this structure gets paid. Every even him or even her, him, all of them, all the low levelers, everybody gets paid. Even the people in India get, probably get, don't get paid a lot by UK standards, but they all get paid. They all come away getting something out of it. You know, getting paid for their time, getting paid for their labour or their expertise. All get paid. These people don't all get paid. Most of them don't get paid. In fact, 99% of them don't get paid. Um, and they, as much time as they like, and they're still not going to get paid uh, because they're all independent distributors. They're not really working for any company. They are reselling products and trying to recruit a team because this is a scheme. The objective of this scheme is recruiting keeping people buying in and selling products and the money then trickles up to the top. And that's why 99% of people don't make money. As I said in the other pyramid scheme, there are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people in, in MLM pyramid schemes. So that 1%, it runs into the hundreds. Um, so you, the, the people in the, the, the MLM pyramid scheme, much is the same as the illegal pyramid scheme. You see all those people at the top and they all look, they're making loads of money. Look at their life. Um, if they can do it, so can I. Um, well, yeah, if you could get in early, have the right character, 99% of you won't, no? And, um, is it something you want to waste your time on doing? The time you spend trying to claw your way up to the top of your MLM pyramid, you could spend that. And, and the money you waste as well could be spent on retraining, could be spent on courses, um, you can't spend that money on anything. If you've got that time and you've got that money, and I, I know perhaps not the people that are desperate at the moment, those who probably just need money, they need new jobs. But if you're one of those people that you have got money to spare and you're not desperate, do courses. Don't waste your time in there. Don't waste your time in trying to grow. Because I'll tell you what, all these people that try and claw their way up, these the, the desperation will bring out the worst in you as well. So yeah, they're the two, they're, they're the main differences. More people in this structure, more money. More people in this structure, less money. Um, and, and, and you can join anywhere here based on your merits. You, you can only ever, ever get in the bottom no matter how many, how much qualification, only qualifications you've got. You only ever get in the bottom. Um, and these people are all sales and marketing. So an MLM company doesn't need marketing. All these people... They market this company themselves by showing what they've got. And that's it. That's the, the, this company is a, the people who are successful are the salespeople and good salespeople, good marketers. They're who make money, not people who can sell the products. So the products are obsolete. No one wants them. They're all crap. Um, they'll buy, buy better in the shops. And what I will say, just to end this, is if you are thinking of getting involved with a, an MLM, because um, I've had loads of letters off people and, messages I've spoken to I spoke to a young man um a few nights ago privately happy to talk to anyone privately um who said you know about getting involved with uh with with a particular MLM and I just said to him I said listen do some market research if you're ever going to go anyone who goes into business they don't go into business before doing the market research it doesn't matter what these people up there are saying you can achieve do your own market research be that a, an anonymous survey online, be that you going round your friends, family, loved ones and saying to them, 
I haven't joined yet, but I'm thinking of joining Body Shop at Home, FM World, um, Arbonne. What do you think? What do you think about that? Do you th would you buy stuff off me? Show them some of the products. Would you buy this stuff off me? So it's like, because if you're not in it yet, if you're not already in the the MLM yet, they'll be honest with you and they'll say, you know, mm, you know, don't bother. I'm not going to buy anything off you. Say, be, be honest, I'm not going to buy anything off you because if you did do your market research, you would see that people are not interested in this stuff. You'll be brainwashed into thinking that you can make a business out of something. It's completely ridiculous. Completely, it's completely pointless. And so do your own market research, ask around, ask people. Um, and don't wonder, don't just be sold it. Don't just be sold something. Put a survey out, put a survey out on social media, put, put it in one of the groups, what do people think about this? Um, and that's my advice to anyone who's, you know, don't ask me, you watch one, I've made all the videos, this is my opinion. My other videos mainly focus on FM World, um, but, and FM World's one of the better ones. It's got a product that people actually will buy. Hence the reason it's got so saturated. Most most MLM companies have products that nobody wants. Nobody wants to buy them. You know? Um, so yeah, do the market research. That's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it brought some clarity to you as well.